Hello everybody, welcome back again. In this session I would like to show you how to sign up for a GitHub account and how to fork and clone your own GitHub repository of open radios and starting working with it. So let's get started. First of all we need to open our browser and going into GitHub. Here, if you don't have a GitHub account, so you have to sign up for one, and this is what we are gonna to do. So, first, entering GitHub, entering an email address which you want to use. So I have created a nice one. Let's go for open radios twenty twenty two. At no dot com and continue. Create a password for GitHub. So let's create a nice one. So let's get, get open radios test user. Yes, I want to receive the product announcements. Option 1. This was clearly option 3. And create an account. Okay, let's check the code which was sent to us by GitHub. It was three eight one three seven nine four. So here we are, our account is created, so we are now GitHub, we have now an official GitHub account. Now we can continue with searching for open radios. And here we are. Open radios. And here we have our open radios repository. 
And this is what we are going to do, fork and clone. So fork your own copy. This is what I'm exactly going to do. First I give a star and now I'm going to fork it to my test user. and creating a fork. Now I have my own Open Radios copy or fork of the Open Radios uh, repository, which I can modify now and later on when once everything is done and correctly Q8 with a small QA test, I can then contribute my own developments. Also, blocking command line pushes to expose email. Now we want to install also the GitHub for our command line, so therefore we go for uh, https git minus s c m dot com slash downloads Here we are installing it for Windows. executing it yeah, on hold large file system this is important Now we want to add the height hour. Just checking. Yeah, it's installed. So now we want to set some additional config information to get. Oops, I forgot to set the config. Now it's done. So we are prepared. Now we have also to enable large file system. So for this purpose we can get this is again has to be done only once. Large file system. And good. Config.
So next step is to generating a password and create and uploading the public key to the uh, GitHub repository uh, in order to save the amount of effort which is uh, then um, um, to be um, asked for every time for the, uh, typing the password. So we will create now an SSH non private and public key for this. How to do it? Just type SSH minus keygen minus T So default no pass brace, no pass brace. That's all. Now we have to upload the PGP key, the previous one. And we'll upload my daily work key, which begins with SSH RSA key. So this is after creation, it is found on the local system on users SSH, and here we are. We open this with the notepad, for example, it starts with SSH RSA, so everything selected, copy, and paste, add SSH key. So, I'm now trying to clone our repository. So let's do it. Clone git at github.com And it's downloading my sources. Local. So. And down on, in the text, I will add you also the most used um, git commands, which you then will use if you are still working on the command uh, window from Windows. Otherwise, uh, using ENCODE or Visual Studio will make your work much more convenient. Um, depends on the individual flavor. So feel free to use it as it is or however way it works for you. So let's wait until it will be finished. Our cloning procedure. And here we are. So now we have to start the Intel environment, which is easiest to start to open a command window where this will be already initialized. We have everything here, so 
we go to starter, launch the build script for Windows minus arch. And here we go, starting compiling our own forked radios, open radios from GitHub, where we can now start modifying, adding features, or doing whatever we want. And at the end of the day, once we did also the uh, QA test, which is also provided here within uh, this repository, then we can commit uh, our modifications, enhancements to um, uh, to Open Radio's repository to make it available for the whole community, and then creating pull requests and so on. Please find also below in the text the most used uh, Git commands, uh, which are necessary for the daily usage. So now we are successfully compiling the starter. So now let's see some useful git commands. So like git status shows us our branches up to date. So, and one very important recommendation, do not work in your main um, branch. So let's check the branches which we have. We are currently in the main branch, so this is not recommended to work here. So let's create a new branch. Let's call it my So this is now created. I can check it. Uh, so not this, just with the branch. And I can now step into this new branch, which is a copy of the main branch, and do the individual developments here. The main branch will not be uh, changed. So let's do this. Now, I have created a new development branch and changed into it. And now I can do my uh, developments here, my modification, what, uh, whatever. And this will remain here. And then I can commit this new development. So thank you very much for your attention. and. Bye-bye.